Hi, it's Corrine. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I am playing with some Prima molds and paper clay. Prima has several molds to choose from. They are gorgeous, detailed molds. I got all of mine through Blitzy. I absolutely love Blitzy. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, but I will leave a referral link down in the description box. They have a rewards program where if you refer people, you get money towards their store and you can they will give you a link as well that you can share with friends and family and get money towards their store. So check the description box for that. This creative paper clay is what I'm using in today's video. I got this from Hobby Lobby. I used a coupon for it and I got the white kind. I'm also showing you that Prima has paper clay as well. And I've only used it once and it was a little hard for me to work with. I'm going to give it another chance because I have um, more of it on hand, but this creative paper clay that I got from Hobby Lobby is what I'll be using today. I also wanted to show you that I'm using a pasta machine that's made for polymer clays. This is not necessary. You don't have to have this, but I found that it's super easy. It makes working with the clay easy. I'm also using this palette knife, which makes it easy. Again, something you don't have to have, but it does make it a little bit easier. So the first thing you want to do is really work with your your clay. You want to um, you want to get it uh, pliable and that's why I'm using the pasta machine. It makes it super simple for me. I roll it through usually twice and it makes it, it gets all the bubbles out of it and it really makes it easy to work with. And again, I love that paper clay from Hobby Lobby. So I'm simply rolling it out and I'm using one of the molds and actually these label molds are, um, I don't want to say harder to work with because none of them are hard to work with, but they're actually a little bit more um, time consuming because they're long and thin, but none of them are hard to work with. I'm just really pressing it down, pressing it in all the grooves and trying to get a thin layer. And that's where the palette knife comes in hand. You can just scrape it across and it'll take all that excess clay off of it. You don't want to leave clay out and around all the edges. The cleaner that you make it as you put it into the mold, the cleaner it's going to come out when it's dry. So again, I'm really pressing down all the edges. I'm taking my time. This was the longest time these long labels molds to work with because, you know, I really wanted to try and get the back as flat as I could be, because I know I'll be adhering these to a project. So again, I'm just kind of rolling out some clay, pressing it down pushing it into all the grooves and then pressing with my palms to kind of spread out the clay. And then that's when I use that knife to scrape across the top. If you don't have a palette knife, which I think I got this one um, from Michael's, but I've seen them at Walmart even for a couple dollars. Actually, I purchased my son one from Walmart um, for a few bucks after I had gotten this one. So you can find them on Amazon. But if you don't have that, you could try a butter knife. That may work. Or um, if you have like an old credit card or old gift card, that may work as well. So I'm really pressing it down, cleaning up all the edges, and then I'm going to let them sit overnight to dry. I have already done these before and I took them out before they were, were completely dry. I took out the molds when they had sat for about two or three hours and in the morning time they were all a little warped so my suggestion to you would be to let them stay in the molds overnight and dry that way again i i needed a little more clay so i ran that through my pasta machine just to help to um, make it a little more pliable easier to work with and I just wanted to show you on these, I, I slowed it down again a little bit, how quick and easy they are for smaller molds, like these little flowers. You just press it in, scrape off the excess, and make sure you clean up the edges, and they come out beautifully. This clay, like I said, I didn't have to add water. It was a dream to work with. Um, I filled all my molds at once, just so because I was it was so relaxing to do and easy to do. And that way I have a bunch on hand when I need them. And they're, when they're done, you can actually mold them. If you're using a, a project, say you want to put it on a jar, you can actually take it out of the mold maybe after a couple hours and mold it around your jar, put maybe a little bit of 
uh, removable adhesive or a little E6000 on it to hold it on the jar in place and it'll mold, it'll dry to whatever you're placing it on. So if you're using a jar, it'll mold to that jar beautifully. So again, I did let these sit overnight, pulled them out, really happy with them. I will give the Prima clay another chance, but I was really happy with this creative paper clay. I'll put all the links in the description box for all the molds that I showed in the beginning that I purchased through Blitzy and a link for this paper clay along with Prima's paper clay. So I hope you've enjoyed. Stay tuned for photos of all the finished molds. And if you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Thanks so much for watching.